these spiders create this very beautiful geometric structure. So the question is, how did biology evolve this system that can produce this really elegant structure? We'll take a spider. I'm Andrew Gordis. I'm an assistant professor in the biology department here at Johns Hopkins. We'll put it over here on one of these frames. So we're interested in how animal behaviors are encoded in the structure and activity of, of the brain. These spiders build their webs at night. So we put these frames in these boxes and the camera turns on and we start recording. So we're just going to watch the spider move around in here as it builds the web. They construct these classic webs that people think of and they think of spider webs with the radii and the spiral. And that structure is an emergent property of behavioral structure. So there's a structure to the behavior that produce that. So how does a brain do that? How does a brain encode all of these behaviors in a correct sequence? So maybe we can, uh, so then we can start building a map. This pathway encodes this behavior, this pathway encodes this behavior. So the progression of these behaviors is actually a progression of all these different pathways in the brain. Yeah. A lot of people are trying to creeped out by spiders, but I think that's quite remarkable that this is all being done with a brain no bigger than a fly's. This offers us a unique chance to try to understand how that happens.